Yo, what's up, Pride Nation? Back at you with another one on today. This is Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you click on subscribe, hit the bell and hit all so that you'll get every upload and notification from Noble Sports Entertainment. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Detroit Sports Alliance. Their links will be below in the description. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to talk about the Detroit Lions versus the Buffalo Bills in week three and some keys and things that I am looking for to see uh in this uh game so basically guys we're uh the season is almost upon us we have one more week of preseason action and then the detroit lions will take action against the arizona cardinals in week one and i can't wait to see this game uh definitely guys um some things that i'm looking for in this game is uh i know a lot of fans have been wanting to see matthew stafford out there but uh just hold on guys hold on pump your brakes we already know what matthew stafford brings to the game we know how matthew stafford plays and how he can ball out but uh we, we're going to give him a break even if we give him a few snaps this game um it's all good and if he doesn't play it's all good you know um some people think that matthew stafford is dealing with injury but i just think that the lions are uh using uh precaution on him and making sure that they have a healthy quarterback going into week one uh there's a lot of people that's been getting hurt in these preseason games and uh, you can get hurt man that's the main thing about football it's one of the most physical sports out there but some of the key things though guys that i'm looking for in this is to, uh, for guys to start separating themselves in their camp battles now it's looking really really murky right now with the receivers because we don't know who's going to be the fourth and the fifth receiver so far so i'm looking for guys to start separating themselves in the last two games of the preseason this game i'm looking for the defense to uh start putting their stamp on the games start uh, executing a little bit better i'm looking for guys to start playing better guys like amani awarie um uh, i want to see him do a little bit better because i know once the regular season comes he probably will be in and out of the lineup he's probably not going to uh be a starter um it looks like i think rashawn melvin probably is going to be that second corner um the maturity i just want to see the maturity of the team i want to see the guys executing out there not saying that i want to see these guys win they can lose every preseason game but the biggest thing is um you want to see these guys um get some reps i want to see these guys stand out uh joe Dahl has been doing an exceptional job at the left guard and we got to give them props for not uh allowing uh, the quarterbacks to get uh sacked on his behalf so definitely i'm looking for execution as far as the playbook um guys just uh doing what they uh, are called to do out there I, I still know that the lions are not going to show their full deck and they're not going to show their full hand the playbook has been simplified so that um they're not showing every single thing that they're going to do i want to see guys like ty johnson get more carries zach zinner get more carries cj anderson get some more carries i'm not too concerned about carry on johnson i already know he is the starter on day one and um, I'm just looking to see, man, this team put uh, uh, forth an effort in this game. Uh, whether they win or lose, um, I definitely are going to uh, I'm going to be watching every uh, try to watch every position and every possession of this game to see if guys are separating themselves in the pack in their camp battles, because now it's going to come down to guys making plays out on the field. Uh, guys like Will Harris uh, in the last game uh miles killer brew stepping up uh jalen reese maven has been uh playing exceptionally well so i definitely want to see some of these other guys uh play well man uh guys that know that they're not going to get another opportunity or another chance when you get out there you got to make the uh most of it and capitalize on it so that's what i'm looking for and those are some of the keys i'm looking for in the game i'm looking to see will joss uh johnson bounce back from the game that he had uh, against the Texans uh, because still even though we have already said that Tom Savage is going to be the number two quarterback uh, still there's there's a possibility that anybody can you know especially if somebody gets cut from another team and the Lions have been and I'm sure that they've been doing their homework and if somebody gets cut from another team they may pick up another quarterback because right now that quarterback position is not looking the greatest but um, if we can find a great backup to back up Matthew Stafford, that would be excellent. Uh, Washington Redskins, teams like that. 
So I, I definitely think that the Lions will be uh, continuously to scout quarterbacks if they're not satisfied with the guys that they have. Um, so from the keys that I want to see is uh, definitely on defense, being able to see uh, our pass rush get in there and uh, do a little bit better of uh, trying to get to the quarterback, putting more pressure on the quarterback, and being able to get a sack if we can. You know what I'm saying? That's not the key thing and everything. That's not the end all. But you will, you would like to see some of these guys get some sacks. You would, uh, you would like to see some more takeaways in the game on the defense. And um, I just think that in this in, in this game against Buffalo, it's going to be guys truly, truly battling for position and trying to uh, state their claim uh, on this team because you only have one more uh, game to go. So if you are trying to make the roster, you're going to have to make the best of every opportunity. And I and I and I definitely got to give a shout out to Miles Killerbrew because he has been making the best of the opportunity that's been given him. He has been very very good on special teams, and not only on that, he has been getting praise from Matt Patricia for going out there and playing well on defense. And I always looked at it as an opportunity for Miles Killerbrew to shine at linebacker because this guy can tackle. You know what I'm saying? He may not be the uh, greatest uh, cover guy. But the guy can uh, tackle. So I'm looking to see how we're going to look as far as our linebackers dropping back in coverage. I want to see guys like uh, Talani Tavai, Jelani Tavai still get better out there uh, in coverage. I want to see some of our linebackers getting better in coverage and being able to cover some of these tight ends. And uh, if we can do that and just execute and do the things that we need to do, I think that it will be awesome. Can't wait to see Ty Johnson again. Must watch TV with him because because of that speed. So, all right, you guys, this is Noble Sports Entertainment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because on this channel, you already know what we do. We talk sports, period. All right, guys, I'll be back to you soon with another video. I'm out of here. Peace. I can't eat my heart.